You planning to vote in the presidential election? Well, first time voters are no longer required to vote in person. As News Channel 5's Kyle Horan learned, a ruling from a district court judge changed how the state treats its newbie voters. The state elections coordinator says that this is a divergence from a longtime rule where first time voters could not vote absentee. Now that circuit court has changed things. At election commissions across Tennessee, absentee ballots are being sent out to the public. This year, there are special considerations when voting. In the past, a first time voter had to show their face to an election official before voting absentee. Usually that meant they had to vote in person, but some schools also had registration drives that allowed young people to meet that standard. But this year, a district court judge had a ruling to change that. Right now they are saying we are enjoined from enforcing this law. And what that effectively means is that now uh, first time voters can vote uh, by mail without uh, an actual person seeing them. It was a long time law, probably 20 years or more, according to Tennessee's coordinator of elections, Mark Goins. After a challenge to the law, the state is allowing the rule to be ignored. Goins says the pandemic is the reason, yes, but also there's a lot of litigation regarding elections across the country. I think certainly the, the pandemic has given rise to to the law to be challenged, but this isn't unique to Tennessee. Absentee voters still have to qualify for one of the 14 reasons someone can vote by mail. Some of the biggest reasons are a person is outside the county where they're registered to vote, or a person may be physically ill or disabled. So just because it's your first time voting doesn't mean you are automatically allowed to vote absentee. Kyle Rand, News Channel 5. Thanks, Kyle. Of course, voter security is a hot topic right now, and our local FBI branch is working hard to make sure your vote will count. Russia, China, Iran are the uh, are the predominant uh, adversaries we're concerned about. Russia is probably the most uh, prolific and um, probably the, the most adept at um, misinformation and uh, particularly utilizing social media to put out uh, disinformation. Uh, but China and Iran have learned from them in previous elections. They have their own agendas. Douglas Korneski is the special agent in charge at the FBI's Memphis field office, which covers Nashville. He says foreign countries are coming at us online through social media and cyber attacks. Not only are agents working to prevent by mail ballot fraud, the FBI will also have special command posts in Nashville to monitor things on Election Day. Now, if you haven't registered to vote yet, you're running out of time. Tennessee's registration deadline, October 5th. Nine days later, early voting begins. If you're eligible to vote absentee, the last day to request a ballot is October 27th.